hey man thank you guys for watching the content watching all of the interviews make sure you like subscribe and also leave a comment man vibing with Vito. just take one second out your day and leave a comment like or subscribe let's get back to the interview okay we live in the crib vibing with Vito. make sure you like subscribe and comment on the youtube also follow us on the instagram at vibing with Vito. you already know the slogan we vibrating higher and today i got my homie in the building man killing the streets right now how you doing, man? Rude child, rude child, tapping in. For sure, for sure, man. How you feeling today? Feeling good. For sure, good. for sure. I got a million dollar question, man. Like anybody that sits on this couch, I always ask this question, man. How big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? Hmm. I dream big. Same way I do now. Facts, facts, facts. So let's talk about like the journey, like. What what like sparked the initial like interest for you to like start making music? Was like was it like life experiences or did you have a musical background or like what like what was it? Um this is um God given gift, you know what I'm saying? Like this one sure. of my talents is just growing up. Sometimes Facts. I like do hobby. Um, yeah. It was either football or like any sport. Okay. Happened. Facts. Since I was like five years old, I really, really, really love rapping for real. Damn, that's dope. So, so you you was doing this shit since like five, like kind of like playing around with the music. So sure. I made like two dollars. I was rapping for quarters. Nigga, and what? You was, that's rapping. hard. That's hard. Like, and not just one day. Like, I make money different days for just Facts. freestyling and that Facts. With quarters and shit. Damn, that's crazy. What side of town are you from? I'm from East Point. So you're from East Point. Yeah. Okay, for sure, for sure. How um how would you say that like your environment kind of like shaped you into like the artist that you are today and the man that you are today? Man. When it comes to like things you partake in in your environment, that's about the only thing. But like music-wise... Any environment I went to, I knew I wanted to do music. You Facts. know what I'm saying? But it probably did change up the concept of the music. Mm -hmm. You know, what I was doing, who I was doing it with, things of that sort. But Facts. My environment really don't move me for real. Facts, facts. I feel that. I feel that. So you're on vibing with Vito, man. Um, explain to the people like your vibe. Like if you had like one word that best describes you or like a couple of words that best describes you, what would they be? I'm free spirited. I feel like dope. I, I don't let life like, hold me down too much. Facts. Like, um, I'm really like a really like like looking out for people for real. Like, Facts. That's I don't dope. Know why? Like, but that's like dope. Shit. When you say like a free spirit, um, do you also feel like you in tune with like self? Like you like like you know yourself? Like you know what I'm saying? Like for sure. I feel like I'm. I know my, I got growth to do, you feel me? Like, yeah, facts. We all do. But as of now, at the age of 23, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I know myself. Like, That's dope. Well, That's you know dope. And, and where I want to be. Facts, facts. Um, So let's talk about Rule Wick 2. You know what I'm saying? Uh, It just dropped, already generating like a lot of buzz in the streets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What inspired the direction and the sound of the mixtape? Or can we say album or, you know, EP or... Um. Just the creativity, man. Like two years ago, I dropped Rule Wick one, mm -hmm. and I, I went Rule Wick because like that's my favorite movie. First of all, like John Wick, John Wick, my yeah. favorite movie. That's so, hard. Like, and I just fucked with the concept of the entire movie that he went through all that about his dog. Mm -hmm. You see me? Like, mm -hmm. that was a lot of shit. About <laughs> his dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that just showed the loyalty that he had. You feel me? Like. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's how I am. I feel like in any situation, like no matter good or bad, like I put myself in that situation for somebody I love. You feel me? Right. My dog. You know what I'm saying? In that's way. dope. So like, and he be on the bullshit too. Like he ain't. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. His, facts. His folks. About his I folks. Feel like that's how I am. You feel me? Like a, a real like. Yeah, take it there. When, 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 yeah, like, yeah. Like, facts. So I made the rule with the energy was just amazing. Like the tape did like. And about six million views on all platforms. You feel That's me? hard. Like, at this moment, like that's dope, bro. Me just Congrats, just, my nigga. I appreciate that. Me just pushing it just by myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, um, with two, I was waiting for the right moment. I had to drop out two EPs in the midst. Yeah, facts. Both of them were supposed to be with two. Yeah, but facts. That 
creativity and that vision I had yeah. for it, it wasn't clicking. And I didn't want to just rush it, throw it out there. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Um, so in January, I locked in with Cap. And we and we started getting that rolling. I made Facts. a tape. I think I made a tape in like two months. Facts. I finished it up in about two months. Released it. It's doing, it doing, it doing smooth right now. That's really dope. Just getting the visuals and shit together right yeah, now. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Take time. You know what I mean? For greatness. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, like, the musical element. You know what I mean? When it comes down to that. Like, uh, when you uh, when you look for certain beats. Like, you know, who are, like, your go-to, like, producers and, and, and why? Um, Right now, I'm real locked in with... um. Producer go by Drum Lord. Drum Lord? Yeah, okay. hey, yeah. Um locked in with him at one time at Main Street Studio in Atlanta. Facts. And it's like the chemistry was just like amazing. Like it's like the beat and music was one. You feel me? Like Yeah, facts. He never had to play his beats longer than five, six seconds. You feel me? Like F- Damn, that's crazy. So as soon as the beat come on, you like, I wanna rap on that I'm one. Already knowing. That's how you know you got chemistry with somebody. Sure. Like and I feel it like, yeah. like that. it's like soon as I met him, like that's hard. He was playing shit. like he had slower vibe, but like go to a slow vibe, and mm-hmm. it was like something I, I fuck with. It's like I don't even like slow vibe. Facts, like, facts. The chemistry most definitely there. Like John Lord is most definitely a highly preferred. Producer yeah, of mine, that's know? dope. I feel like every great artist they have like a duo with like a producer. You know what I'm saying? Like Future and Metro, Damn, Juvenile, and Manny Fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like the list goes on. Snoop and Drake. You know what I'm sure, saying? Like sure. so. I feel like once you find that chemistry with like a producer, like y'all niggas need to like lock Definitely. in for sure. Like that's that's basically what we did. You feel me? Like that's he all. see he see it and I see it as well. You know what I'm saying? Like he got it like ten songs on the tape. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like that's we got, hard. We got a lot of we got a lot of music. That's dope. You that's dope. Me? Um, you got like tracks with Honcho on the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? And you two been close, like collaborative, like you know, collab doing collabs sure. and stuff. Close friends since like what, like 2020 or for sure? Yeah, like um, how how did that whole thing like come about? Like how did y'all link in and like you know what I mean? What what kind of drew, drew each other? Drew you guys to each other? Like you know what I'm saying? Musically, type of shit. Um. I'm gonna guess the similarities. Um, I ain't really known too. I knew of them. You know what I'm saying? Facts. From being on the side of town, like we on the same side of town. Um, he was doing the same shit. Like we were doing the same shit. He was rapping. He was mm-hmm. in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And we have a mutual mutual person that end up kind of like bringing us kind of closer together. Like the glue. You know what I'm saying for sure. Facts. So um, rapping. We going to the studio 24/7. Like, he always got a session. Like, he get, like, an eight-hour session. He's going to give me about four hours. You feel me? Like, Nigga, that's real. Like real that's right? that's, that's real. That's what I made my first take You feel me? Like, I made my first take rule week. Like, with his, with his extra time. Like, he'll do four hours at rule. You finish. You feel me? Like, so shit. After that. You ain't going to yeah. meet too many people do shit like that. Like, that's that's dope. Nah. Nah. That was, that was, that was real. I fuck with it. You yeah. feel me? Like, we both just seen the vision for real. Like, knew what it was. Like, mm-hmm. I be hearing like you gotta surround yourself around people that are doing the same thing as you. So yeah, you facts. Feel me like, um, but why he's he my nephew dad? You know what I'm saying? So like, okay, for sure locked in now. You feel me like? Yeah, that's dope. Shit. The music we're gonna do that later on. You know what I'm saying? We both mm-hmm. gonna come up right now. We got mm-hmm. painting music. Yeah, facts. You feel me? Just right now, we just steady grind. You feel me? That's dope. That's dope. So, um, your sound is like unique and distinctive. Like, how would you describe like the evolution of like the artist that you have become since when you first started? Like before, like you know. I actually like enjoy the craft of learning this music shit. You feel me? Like, Facts. I was just in the studio yesterday listening to like my old tapes mm-hmm. and to hear the growth and like even to hear the the the. How good I was then, I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, facts. It's just like it's no ceiling with me. You know what I'm saying? It's no ceiling. It's no. It's no. It's no. It's no high. Like with this music, like I said, I've been doing this since I was a kid. You feel yeah. me? Like I want to go into different genres. You feel me? Like I want to actually be a real artist, not a rapper. The same. You want to be an artist. Real artist. That's you know dope. What I'm saying? Like, That's dope. For sure. Like with this, like. I want to take music all the way. Facts, like, facts. Being all that this shit. They say, um, like every great artist or like every great like person in life, they have to put in like ten thousand hours. Like you know what I mean to become great. How many hours you think you put in so far? 
How many years? Ten thousand hours. <laughs> nigga, I, nigga, I don't know, nigga. Shit, nigga, how many, how many years is ten thousand hours? I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting about seven years of this shit. Like, damn, how many hours? Seven years is. That's probably probably ten thousand. I don't know, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts, facts. Nah, that's that's dope, bro. I don't put I don't put time in this shit. I don't, I put a lot. I don't put my whole body in this shit. You feel me? Like everything facts. I got. You feel me? Like, facts. This shit mean a lot to me. Nah, nah, that's dope. That's dope. Um, let me ask you this, bro. Like, um, I, I asked this on my last interview. If you could do a song with one person, you know what I mean, on a beat that you prefer with a producer, who would it be and why? It was Ariana Grande about like a month or two ago. Damn. Right okay. now, I'm thinking of some like Billy Ray Cyrus. You feel me? Like facts. That's dope. What's her name? Billy Irish. Billy, Billy Irish. She got you know some dope saying? ass like, shoes too, by the way. I just I just love how they love they they're like they craft being an artist. You feel mm-hmm. like they actually mm-hmm. I don't know. Don't Facts. I, I, I gotta do a song. I wanna do a song with Billy Ray Cyrus for sure. But Facts. I'm most definitely not somebody with um, Billy Irish. I know that. <laughs> okay. That's all right. That's all right. So later on, we're going to do something for sure. Yeah, facts. I'm going to clip the hell out this motherfucker. That <laughs> shit going to like, get a mil- million views off that motherfucker. Really? But now, nah, um, how do you balance uh, staying true to like your roots and also like pushing your music in like new innovative like directions and stuff? Knowing yourself. That's what come, knowing yourself mm-hmm. come in at. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, Stick to what you know, you feel me? Like, go with your mind. Shit. I ain't, I ain't never let nobody stir me off from what I knew. You Facts. feel me? Like, my destination. I never let nobody stir me off. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, never let nobody tell me it wouldn't work, that it couldn't work, it ain't working right now. I never went for that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, even when I did slack a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I was always kicking myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you got to get back right. You got to get in the studio. You got to drop a video. You got to do. You feel me? Like, I would never let myself get too low. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, facts. Because in this shit, people, what I notice, people gravitate to the confidence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. And you being an artist, you really, like, hold that in your hand. Like, facts. you're not showing no confidence, you're not going you're not, to you're not attract nothing. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of hard to have confidence when you're not attracting nothing. Right, you know what I'm saying? absolutely. So you got to kind of know in your mind who you is. Like, Facts. Right now, yeah, it's 10 people in this in this club that came to see me. You feel me? Like, not tripping. Don't make that make you not come back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I just, I just I'm, I'm locked in. Like, yeah. I don't let nothing. Facts. I'm, my roots is my roots. I'm locked in. Facts. Like, Facts. I come trim, none, cut, none, critique, none, tell me, hey, do it this way, right. do it that way. Right. You're going to come. You feel me? This how it is. Facts. Get down with it. Got <laughs> yeah, facts. Anybody ever tell you you got like an old spirit, like an <laughs> old soul, bro? Anybody tell you that? Yeah, Nigga, you don't, you don't seem like you 23, bro. It seem like I you get, like. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. And um, sometimes I hate it, but most of the time I actually love it for real because it keep me out of a lot of trouble. Facts. It keep me two steps ahead, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and sometimes. I don't kind of yeah. blend in because imagine an old man around some 23 year olds. Yeah, like, facts. You're not going to understand none of this shit. Like, it's going to be beneath you. Yeah, facts. In a, you being better, but just experience wise. Yeah. I don't let my, make nobody make me feel bad about my growth. Yeah, man. facts, you facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. They just got to, they got to, they got to, they got to catch up to you. I, I feel like that. Way, you know what I'm saying? They got to catch up to you. In a way. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I that's a challenge too. Like people will really try to get me to like conform. You feel me? Like convince me that I'm not him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Not saying like him. Like like I'm not mature. Like I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Conversating correctly or I'm not making the right decision. Like I don't. I don't know. It's try to. They kind of try to. Right. I don't know what the word is. Nah, I get what you're saying. Try to manipulate you to it. like they, they into it. Yeah. Don't make me easy to be around. Easy to, to. I'm not easy manipulated. I'm not like you can't trick me because I know who I am. I mm-hmm. know my purpose. I know my mm-hmm. goal. Like, I know mm-hmm. what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? 
do you believe um and this is like off subject but like uh, you ever heard that slogan like or that saying like this person been here before do you believe in that like spirits like transcend like that because like bro again you don't seem like you 23 nigga like you just seem like you like wise for your age not necessarily. I don't think spirits been here before. Cause then it's kind of like a. But you would never know though. You too. Never like, know, yeah, but fact. I, I don't think so. You feel me? Like, it's God. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's well, that's why I get the credit to my growth. You feel me? Like, I've been Facts. through a lot. You feel me? Like, Facts. Um, in the midst of going through, I was talking to God. You feel me? Like, I even as being a little boy, like for real. You know what I'm saying? 16, 17, Facts. trying to figure out like. What I'm doing for real life, I want to go play football, you know what I'm saying, or, or if I just want to kick it in the street, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, God was guiding me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot of shit he was showing me I knew better, you know what I'm saying? Like, so mm-hmm. my consequences are going to be different. Yeah, and facts. Like, I can't do what everybody else do. Facts. And like, once I learned that, man, it got a little bit easier, but then it's kind of hard with, with worldly people, you feel me? Like, with, Damn. like handling worldly challenges, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Knowing that. Okay, yeah, I can get like that, but let me let me show you this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, they this this world ain't gonna kind of let you do that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They're not gonna let you sit right here and rap this, this drill music mm-hmm. and credit you for what you did do. Like, you need to go still do it. Mm-hmm. Like, we need to we need some we need some evidence of this. We need mm-hmm. a little crash out in you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Faith. and I'm so confident on what I who I am, and I'm not lying. I'm not. This is true. This is. I don't have to go. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. You don't have to it, prove it's not it. You know, fast for me. It don't work as fast for me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want fast. Yeah, you know, facts. I don't want fast. Facts. I, I thought I did. Like a lot of times, God showed me like, okay, you weren't ready. You feel right. me? Like, and I didn't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand like what the delay was. Why the hell they? What the hell? Like, mm-hmm. say okay, boom. You feel me? Like, damn, I locked in this long. Like, what the hell? Label right. calling. Whoop, whoop, don't call back. You feel me? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, what I'm doing wrong? Never stop. I never stopped. I never gave up. I never looked at, cause I God been told me what my purpose is. I Damn. I'm supposed to be on a platform. Facts. I'm supposed to be on a platform for millions to see. You feel me? Like people like me though. Yeah. Not not people that's gonna judge me. People that's like just like me. Right. Who battle that worldly and that spiritual warfare every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people, like you said, a lot of people catch that vibe from me. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying so. At times I be quiet so, cause I don't. I kind of don't want to get myself away. You feel yeah, like? facts. Because I'm, I'm full of, I feel like I'm full of God. You feel me? Like? I feel I'm full of grace and, 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 and I'm just, I move with God. I move for God. That's what I'm doing. That's dope. I can be dead right now. I listen. I can be in jail right now. I listen. You know what I'm saying? Like I can be in a bad position right now, but I listen. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, and it's a lot of people's lives I done changed. By being me, if I was anybody else, it wouldn't work saying the things that I say. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. sometimes I'd be wanting to shut up. I'd be like, damn, I'd be talking too much. Damn, they're going to call a preacher, man. I get that so much. Nah. So like, but at the end of the day, I'm probably not wrong. Nah, facts. Facts. Do you, um, do you, uh, practice the, um, do you practice, um, basically, uh, the mantra of like speaking things into existence and manifestation? For sure. For sure, I've been manifesting this since I was five years old. Even things that I see in life, I feel like God has placed me around it. And I can and I can also see that, not just for me. Like I can manifest something for someone else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm that powerful through God. You know what I'm saying? Like I can Damn. manifesting is for sure real. It's, it's the, real, the bro. The bad, the good. I feel like people don't understand that. Like, like your mind is like a very powerful thing, bro. Like me and Kat was just talking about it. Like what you think, what you think you can become. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So if you're thinking bad, shit, that's what you're gonna you're gonna project into the world, and it's gonna come right Me back too. to you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Um, what's your mantra like when you wake up to be the best, like best version of yourself each and every day? Like you know what I'm saying? Do you like do you like train yourself? Like you know what I'm saying? Because I talk to myself a lot of times. I kind of look at that like sometimes like bro, nigga, you ODing over here, you tripping? Yeah. But like I talk to myself like yeah. you know what I'm saying? I prep myself up for the, for the day. You know what I'm saying? Do you have moments like that too? I talk to myself all the time. Like I'm always in my head. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm never, I'm in my head more than I'm on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm my coach. I'm my coach. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I feel like I'm so good at motivating people and getting people to believe in themselves and letting them know what they're good at. And mm -hmm. I used to couldn't do that for myself. You feel me? Like, that's mm -hmm. why I feel like I was so good at mm -hmm. doing it for somebody else, telling them how great they is because I ain't know how great I was yet. You feel mm. me? Like, I didn't know how to. Like I know I'm great, but my everyday is not lined up to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, that kind of puts you in a frenzy. You feel me? Like. I got people looking at me. I got people like looking at what I'm doing. You feel me? Waiting for me to fuck up. Like that's really what push me every day. You feel that's me? crazy. That's I coach myself. I don't like. I'm not thinking. Oh, I got people that's oh they believe in me. They, they, they I know it's people that like that, but mm -hmm. like my determination, like why I really, 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 really like. I'm not proving them right. You feel me? Like I'm not finna prove them right. Facts. I'm, like, I'm not Facts. finna prove God wrong. Facts. You told me who I was. I'm not finna believe y'all. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real rap. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not finna believe y'all. Then my whole purpose down here is counsel. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna stick with him. I'm gonna go with that. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna coach myself every morning. You feel me? Like, every day, every time I get low, I'm gonna pull myself up. You feel me? That's why I can't kind of give pity parties to people. I show, I, like, I'm very sympathetic. Like, but when I you when, when I, you say that, kind of elaborate on that, like um, like somebody pity. going through something, like I feel bad about it. You feel me? Like I be wishing I can help. I be wishing like. So you're an empath. I don't know what that is. Nah, like nah, like you feel like like I feel I'm, for I'm people. like I'm like that too. Like I feel for people. For facts, them. I facts. Feel like I feel for them. You feel me? I feel like I'm strong enough. I can feel they, they problems, they burdens, they all they on them. Cause I talk to somebody, they be like, damn, how the hell you know, like. I can tell them exactly what's going on with the pro like won't they won't say a word yet. Cause I just know energy like and sometimes I just let mm -hmm. God funnel through me. I, people be really thinking I'm playing. Like you're, I you're probably a prophet, in my nigga. Mouth that I didn't like I ain't know I put I ain't even know that I knew that word. Facts. On everything I love. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that's that's that's, that's my purpose. That's you like, special, I bro. I got a you job. You special, dude. bro. I ain't gonna I even lie. That, I man, appreciate that. That you special, bro. Like, I appreciate that. And in the world I'm in right now, a lot of people, I don't know what it is. I don't get that out there. You feel nah, because they're not. Because they're not. They're not. They're not listening to hear. They just. They just see you and like judge. Like I, think I know everything. You I get what I'm saying? I, like when you listen to a person. Like I'm big on that too. Like like when I have conversations with people, like I really like try to like dive into like their life. Listen. I'm listening to you, bro, and I'm looking at you. You speaking with like conviction, my nigga. Like this ain't no bullshit. Sure. Like this the shit that you're speaking. Niggas can come in here all day and just say this is who I am. You can look sure. right through that shit, man. You ain't talking about shit. Sure. But you, I'm looking at you. I'm hearing hearing this. Like you you special, my nigga. Like this real something shit. I've been wanting to do for so long. I literally done sat in the house and okay, how I'm gonna do interviews. See, mm -hmm. like, I really started to convince myself that I'm supposed to go on interviews and slur my words, maybe. You feel me? Nah, nigga. Have a double cup, be OD high. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I really used to convince myself, like, that's what's going to, that's how they want to see me. Like, if I get on there talking about this and that and God this and God that, or, oh, you can do this or don't do that, I don't want to hear that shit. But I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because then I'm not going to be listening to him. Mm -hmm. And be listening to, to them. them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, shit, big. It's a, it's this whole life shit is bigger than me. Like, like life shit. Like, cause I, I've been through a lot of like real shit early. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. my mama went. I went. I ain't grow up in no struggle for real. Like, when that shit, when what I went through. You feel me? My mom went to work every day. We was, we was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just, it's. Worldly things that kind of, man, kind of like brought you, just, you. Like, once I seen like a baby come from one age to the next, and they learned they learned this, and it stuck with them, and mm -hmm. it stuck, you know, bro, you can lit it, bro. It's bullshit, bro. You, you what, you, what you put in your mind mm -hmm. is what you what you gonna put out. It's what you gonna get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I tell people don't be so damn negative. Like, that negativity ain't gonna fix shit, bro. You they speaking to you nothing. speaking to me today. I had like before this interview, my nigga. Like I had like a fucked up day. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I'm I'm human. I had a fucked up day, and um, I could have I could have allowed that to keep me there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, cause bro, I'm like, man, I got an interview tonight. I got an interview with Cap. I got an interview with you, 
and um, I wasn't really mentally prepared to come here to like talk sure. to y'all because like, what I've been through today. But I was like, bro, nah, I'm finna, I'm finna go and do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And like this talking to you, talking to him, like this shit kind of brought me out of like what I was going through today. So now I'm just kind of like fuck that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow gonna be a better day. You know just what I'm saying? Kind of, it just came to me. Um, God gave us free will. Mm-hmm. Feeling like the, the freedom of choices. Mm-hmm. You made the choice in a positive aspect. aspect. Mm-hmm. He walked with you the entire way. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like you was able to see through what you had to do today. You Facts. Know what I'm like you probably didn't feel like you probably don't still feel like it right Facts. now. Facts. Probably over this shit, ready to wrap it up. Going about you feel nah, like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I, yeah, I get. Yeah, I get. Not on the job. Mm-hmm. Mentally, like mm-hmm. ready to start today or start tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But he walked you through this day. I had a, my day went too good. Mm-hmm. But we got through it. The day good now. You my know nigga. What I'm saying? Like the day good now. Like just imagine if we sat down and sat into that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, Satan not gonna attack you if you ain't doing nothing. You know, he's not gonna he, he I wish I had a bomb. You can, you, you can sit right there and you can be right there in ten years. I can go fuck up fuck with him real fast, but mm-hmm. he doing shit. Facts. You feel me? Like I know give him a hard day. Facts. Like damn, I had this nigga sitting all day. He shit. He got a good life. This nigga Satan ain't worried about him right now. Mm-hmm. He don't listen to God. He gonna be right there in ten, in ten years. I'll be back for him. <laughs> and and this, this young man over here that's that's fine between good and bad, good and evil, like all that. Yeah, he on your ass. Once I learned that too, like okay, a lot of shit, you gotta see shit. Like I see shit differently. My brother, he he passed away. Named Moody. You feel me? Like Rest he came he came home from jail. That man told me he don't talk like that. He like a nigga like me, tatted up, slain, very smart. Or say rude, you gotta look at perspective like some glasses. You feel me? Like it's all up to you what kind of glasses you want. Mm-hmm. You get some LV, Celine. I'm pretty sure it's some glasses that cost so much we don't even know the name. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. and that's that's the levels to this shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like nobody ain't gonna ever see shit how you see it. They can look at the same thing you're looking at. They not gonna be able to see it how you see it. You take your glasses off, put it on them. Mm-hmm. That's against somebody trying to understand you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it, 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 once you see shit as perspective, it's a, it's a, it's a whole. You kind of you view shit differently for real. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn, that shit, that shit was real life for real, for real, for real. Like, Damn. And Damn. hearing him say that, that's why I said like, I got something I'm supposed to tell somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna. Mm-hmm. Redirect their whole life to put them on the purpose that God wanted mm-hmm. them to be on. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, cool, my child, you did that, you handled that. Facts. They, they were gonna listen. They weren't gonna listen to old man, buddy, or bro right there. They need to hear you say that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause Facts. me being me come with a different type of respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's the confidence I have. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, that's what I look at. I don't think I'm better than anyone. You know what I'm saying? But I just walk with a certain confidence in myself. And it, 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 you can see the respect that's given, you feel me? Because I give respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. A lot of shit crazy. <laughs> this shit like, crazy. Like, crazy. Like, yeah, crazy. Thanks, bro. You, 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 you can't, like, you ain't got to complicate this shit. Like, mm-hmm. A lot of people complicate the hell out of life. Shit. No I'm a thinker, bro. Like, so, like, I'll be, like you said, you be in your head, I'll be in my head too. But it'd be like, multiple things at one time. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, like, I got to make a decision here. I got to do this. I got to do yeah. this. It's like, I don't never have like a mental peace. Right. My shit always going. Right. All day, every day. I don't ever like I don't think I ever like had a day where it's just like I can just sit down without feeling like I need to do something to yeah. to better myself. I'd be like, I'd be chilling. Let me goddamn edit some shit right quick. Or like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I got AD, ADHD or whatever, but nigga, I'd be like, I'd be on it you like got a purpose, bro. Yeah, facts. Facts. You got a purpose, bro. Facts. Some people can sit down and chill. Some people can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. some like it's a different. Like, some people is just different. Like, some people post sit on the couch until they fifty, then open the door for somebody and say something to them, and that was their purpose for their whole life. Like, damn, they, they would just want to post to go to, to the grocery store, cashier. They content with that. They cool with that. Mm-hmm. Feeling like you can't sit down because you you know what shit that need to be done. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta go do shit. Mm-hmm. I got shit to be done because soon as you sit down, that's probably a the quiet place that you don't want to be in. Facts. You feel me? Like, and I would say be grateful mm-hmm. because God can take all that busyness and all that shit that need to be done mm-hmm. and, and sit your ass down. 
Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't appreciate being busy. Like, I didn't appreciate going to work. I didn't appreciate grinding. Mm -hmm. I didn't appreciate this shit. Facts. I feel like this shit is... I love this shit. This shit give me a different type of, like... A, like, I don't know. I love this shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like, to go go outside and work, if it make me happy. Mm -hmm. Like, in real life, to do, shoot a video, go to the studio, meet producers, go to mm -hmm. a, a mixing event. It don't, it don't matter. That shit make me genuinely happy, for real. You feel me? Like, it's dope. And when I don't, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I can feel the the uncertainty. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I know I'm supposed to be doing something else. Facts. You feel me? Like, Facts. So don't. Don't look at it too bad. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. And I appreciate that. Um, what has the game like taught you thus far? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I'm learning you like as we talk. But like, yeah. what, what can you say? Like, the game has taught you thus far, like a, like a big lesson. You know what I'm saying? The rap game. Yeah, like the industry. It could, it could be the industry or the game of life, whichever one. Oh, the game of life. <laughs> like. Um, Don't take this shit too serious. You can't take it too serious. You feel me? Like, he's literally a God on this shit. You feel me? Like, if you feed your spiritual self, like your spiritual self, you will be you will be smooth. People don't understand it. It's like you got to feed your body. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So your weight, you stay up weight. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you got to feed your spirit too so you can be mentally prepared to go through this shit every day. You feel me? Like, I'm mentally prepared. You feel me? Like, I feel like, Can't nothing beat me. Right. Dope. Dope. Damn, this shit crazy. Conversation and we're like like everywhere now. Nah, I keep doing that every podcast nah, nah, but I this, go to. Nah, but it's great though. And then look, I be telling myself like, okay, this podcast. Will <laughs> nah, this nah, this is great, bro. I ain't gonna even lie. Like I had I a, I had a shit ton of questions. We got damn like shit. Um, we could talk about the project though too as well. Sure. Get back to the project. You know what I mean? Um, what did you want the listeners to basically take away from? Rue Wick too um, Is is there like A specific message That you wanted to Kind of like get across um, With the project Yeah I'm humble But I ain't nigga Like real rap Like I'm, I'm I'm really him for real You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying Like With ease as well um, Very confident Like Facts That's what I would like I'm back basically That's all. Right. That's all. Right. Come be here for a minute It just Facts. That's facts. I, I, I can, yeah, I can already tell that. Um, I got a question, man. Um, another million dollar question for you, man. With the weight of the world on your shoulders, success at the palm of your hands. How do you respond when adversity knocks at your door? I think you already kind of answered this throughout the interview, but you know what I'm saying. God, facts. I can't to to sum it up to mm -hmm. show everything up. Mm -hmm. Um. Facts. God, man, cause you know he saved my life for real. Like. That's dope. That's dope. I got a slogan I always say: purpose over popularity. When I say that, when I say that to you, how can you put that in your own words? Don't let worldly likeness compromise your godly likeness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, Have a purpose. Mm -hmm. See to your purpose. Do not allow the distraction. You know what I'm saying from mm -hmm. outside. You feel me? Like that's when I think that's when you start to experience hardship and you're veering off from your purpose. You feel me? Like everybody go through shit, but like when it start to weigh on you for real, that's when you just veering off. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I feel like you just gotta know God, know your purpose, know yourself, learn yourself. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like. Go through the trial and error of betterment. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. don't stay in the same place. Don't go backward, backwards. You feel me? Like, just continue to look for growth like, in yourself. You Facts. feel me? Facts. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Damn. This is a great interview, my nigga. I ain't going to even cap to you, bro. Um, Vibing with Vito. Sh uh, shout outs. This segment of the show, basically, you just shout out the people that's been with you from day one. Sure. People that's here with you now. And, you know what I mean? Your supporters and just anybody you want to shout out. For sure, man. Um... I want to shout out to my girl, shout out Cap, you know what I'm saying, shout out my dog Reek. Um, hey man, Thanks. shout out my mama, 
Facts, facts, she, facts. She, Shout she, out Mom Deuce. She pretty cool. <laughs> you feel my sister. You feel me? Right. That's dope. My man. brother, you feel me? I got a, I got a I got a good support system, you feel me? Like, That's dope. They don't let me fall too low. You facts. know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, with your energy, the type of energy you got, I don't think you could really that's, even that's, fall, that's, my nigga. Like <laughs> Exactly. Like that's why I don't yeah. that's why I, I, you feel me? They facts. they played a major part, you feel me? Like, that's dope. And when that's I dope. needed them, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, and I can't take that away from them. Facts. You feel me? How important is like uh having like a strong like structure and circle to you extremely important to me because i'm so structured like mm-hmm. i got i got a plan like that i'm doing my purpose you feel mm-hmm. me like if you come in my circle and you ain't like understand what my purpose is you feel me like you ready to get in line and, and add whatever you got to add to this and hopefully in down the line you found your purpose or you I already know your purpose and mm-hmm. this is in alignment to it. Facts. I don't want you around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's gonna lead to destruction. Like, it's gonna lead to destruction. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need it. I'm comf- I'm comfortable with myself. I done spent time alone enough. Um, at my lowest, to be okay with people. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I'm getting back into my not so much being a people pleaser. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like. In ways that it affect me, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. mentally, you facts, feel me? facts. Doing things that weigh on me, you mm-hmm. feel me? Nah, that's dope. That's dope, my nigga. Hey, bro, I appreciate you coming even coming to vibe with Vito. You know what I'm saying? Like this was this was like a a conversation that just went somewhere else. You know what I mean? You just, I just didn't even know that the conversation was good. You know what I mean? This was dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate you, my nigga. I appreciate you. Man, tell the people you. where they can find you, big dog. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Rude Child, Twitter, Rude Child Fire, um, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Rude Child, everywhere. Facts. Facts. So. Hey, man, it's been another episode with Vibing with Vito. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get them subscribers up, man. You feel me? We had like 3,000. Help me get the 5,000 by the end of the month or some shit. Nah, you, help my man get the 5,000, <laughs> man. You feel me? You already know the slogan. We vibrating higher, and we gone. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, man, I know y'all watching the interview and stuff like that, but I'm an artist, too, as well. I go by the name of Just Call Me Vito. Make sure that you tap in with all of my music, uh, all of the content and stuff like that. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Just Call Me Vito. I got a project coming called Shit Hit Different with my boy Sauce Lord Rich. Y'all be on the lookout for that, too. Let's get it.